Hello fellow gun owners, uh, this is Dustin Stockton, president of the America First Project and a proud community liaison at Gun Owners of America. I'm coming to you from gun-friendly Florida uh, where we're working to make gun laws uh, more like Florida across the country. Now, we're really, we're, we're approaching 10,000 messages sent on a very important piece of legislation called National Concealed Carry Reciprocity. Most of you probably know what it is, but it, it really says it all in the title. It's about allowing people who have a legal carry permit or from a state that they don't need a legal carry permit to tr carry why they travel. The Second Amendment does not have a disclaimer on it that says your right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed unless you choose to travel about the country. So we need national concealed carry reciprocity because your freedom of movement really gets to the very heart of freedom itself and we have that right. The Constitution only recognizes it. It's God-given. The Second Amendment should be our carry permit when we travel around the states. It's a no-brainer. Now we were able to catch up with a big proponent of Second Amendment rights uh, here in Florida while we were here. Her name is Dr. Kelly Ward. She ran against John McCain. Does anyone here like John McCain? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, she ran against John McCain. She's run for the Senate again against Never Trump's Jeff Flake. Uh, and our own Jennifer Lawrence was able to catch up with her for a brief question and ask her about National Concealed Carry Reciprocity. So let's go to that interview. We're here with Dr. Kelly Ward, who's running for Senate against Jeff Flake in Arizona. So there is a bill in the Senate right now, and it's really popular. And here at the America First Project, we've been all over it, sending petitions to our senators and our congressmen about concealed carry reciprocity. I know you're a huge second proponent of the Second Amendment. So tell me, what what do you think about it? I, I'm, I'm with it 100%. We've got to have a Second Amendment protection across the entire country. So I hope that our elected officials will pass this bill. So national concealed carry reciprocity is something that we really need in this country. And also, you know, the Silencer Act is there. What can our senators and congressmen do to, you know, promote the Second Amendment more, especially with President Trump in office? I think they have to be constitutional elected officials and so they need to su support the second amendment no matter what and these are good bills that we need to get in place so i hope they'll get on board and pass them thank you jennifer and kelly uh, dr kelly really speaks for a lot of patriotic gun owners from across the country when she talks about how important the second amendment is not to be infringed and not to allow that to come down like that so what we need you to do like i said earlier our petition is approaching 10,000 messages sent that's a major milestone when we go in and we talk to these congressmen and when we go to these reporters and ask them to write a story about our efforts so if you haven't yet please take just one or two minutes to make contact with your specific congressmen and senators to demand that they support national concealed carry reciprocity. We have huge momentum behind this bill. We have, near, we have about 170 co-sponsors of the bill in the House, and we have more than 35 the last time I checked in the Senate. That number may have even gone up already. So we want to thank Senator Cornyn for introducing that bill, and we want to get it out of committee. We want to get this vote on national concealed carry reciprocity, and the only way we can do it is if you take a moment to make your voice heard uh, and with your congressmen, with your senators, if you don't demand it, they won't do it. So please, this is Dustin Stockton with the America First Project and Gun Owners of America. Please take a moment, send that message, make your voice heard, and let's put the Second Amendment on offense.